up my channel welcome back to another video i'm jesse and you're watching welcome i'm so glad y'all are here because this is going to be a very 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 informative video i run a non-binary book club and that book club is called none other than nb book club i believe it was back in 2019 that i started this book club i started it because i found that slowly but surely non-binary books and books by non-binary authors were starting to emerge and get attention like they had never before. And I wanted to make sure that these books were being spotlighted and read and celebrated. And I noticed that there were no book clubs that centered specifically on non-binary individuals. And so I decided to make the NB Book Club. Now, if you're not sure or familiar with what non-binary means, you can definitely check out the resources that I have over at the NB Book Club Instagram. There's a lot of information over there, but there's also just tons of information available to you on the internet. But I myself am non-binary. I came out as non-binary in 2013. It is just such a beautiful, wonderful thing. And I'm really, really glad to have this book club where we can have conversations about what it means to be gender defiant or gender diverse and what it means to subvert gender expectations to be non-binary, what that means within the context of being a person of color, what that means within the context of being queer, on top of being trans. It's just so much fun. So over at the book club, I do reels surrounding non-binary individuals and lifestyles. I'll do recommendations for non-binary TV shows and movies and actors to watch. There's also a highlight full of bookstagrammers and booktubers that are non-binary. For anybody who is NB and wants to find more content from people who share similar identities as them, or if you are an ally and you wanna make sure that you are getting trans perspectives into your life on a consistent basis, that would be an amazing resource for you. I also talk about like news and just different things. And one thing that we are doing over at the Non-Binary Book Club is now we are voting on every single book that we pick and at the end of each month we're going to have a live show um, and so the book the book club is still going to remain on Instagram I started it on Instagram and it's going to stay there for people who don't like using YouTube but now there's also going to be YouTube live shows and I'm working towards doing author interviews which is going to be really exciting as well as working with publishers to do giveaways so it is a very good resource and so as of right now I've had people vote on the books that they wanted to see for the rest of the year. And so I'm going to be talking in this video about the three books that we're going to be reading over at NB Book Club for October, November, and December. All right, so this month, the month of October, we are going to be reading Sorrowland by River Solomon. One of my most highly anticipated books of the entire universe, I swear, when I heard that Rivers was coming out with a new book, I was there. I, it was on like Donkey Kong. I absolutely love this author. Rivers is a black non-binary autistic author living in the, the UK and just every single story that Solomon comes out with is top tier. Now I have already read this book. We read it. We loved it. We gave it five out of five stars. This is the arc and I have a finished copy on its way to us and so I'm really excited to reread this in the finished form. I'm so excited. If you watched my October TBR which you totally should because I've got tons of fun information and announcements in that video. But I talked about how I'm going to get a mushroom tattoo and it's going to look very similar to this cover and I'm just so freaking excited. Now, Sorrowland, for those of you who are not in the know, is this incredible gothic horror book about this young woman named Vern who flees a toxic cult and escapes to the woods. She runs into the woods and she gives birth to her babies entirely on her own and decides to raise them in isolation. But in the process of rearing these two very wild, free-spirited children, Fern not only undergoes some very intense body changes and is slowly becoming something that she cannot recognize, but also the leader of the cult is after her and her children. And there's a lot going on, lots of trigger warnings, lots of body horror. I, there's just, there's a lot going on. And it, ooh, 
Woo! This book was really, really good. So this is the book that we're going to be reading in October. And I'm so freaking excited. Adi of Bordy Queer Reads is going to be guest hosting for this book. So freaking excited. So definitely check out that live show. It'll probably happen around November 1st. Stay tuned on the NB Book Club Instagram for more details. Now, we don't have a copy of it here and now yet. But the book that we're going to be reading for the month of November is none other than We Are Not Broken, which is the sophomore nonfiction novel by George M. Johnson. I don't know if y'all have been following my channel long enough to have remembered this, but when All Boys Aren't Blue came out, we were riding the train. Nobody was talking about it. And we were just like so frustrated because it was this amazing nonfiction book about black queer boys and black masculinity from a black non-binary author and we were so frustrated because nobody was reading it nobody was giving it the hype and attention it deserved and then just finally the universe shined its light upon George M. Johnson and now the book is getting an adaptation it's getting its own tv show George M. Johnson has blown up the book is everywhere and I just could not be more proud of just this wonderful wonderful individual so and then this is the second book so i'm so excited for another great memoir if you're one of those people that's like oh i don't like nonfiction, i'm telling you george m johnson's nonfiction is is it's going to be the one for you it is just the storytelling is so good there's like literally no excuse not to read this book i'm so freaking excited and then the guest host for we are not broken is going to be starla of starla reads as you know he is one of my closest friends i absolutely love him starla is just the end all be all of sweet human beings for me and i'm just so excited to have him on the live show and just like hearing his thoughts on books amazing if you are not following starla reads you just need to be following him like asap there's just simply there's simply no other way <clears throat> and the guest hosts whenever possible are also going to be non-binary individuals so adi is non-binary and so is starla and then now it is time for us to discuss the book that we're going to be reading in december the very last book club pick for 2021 and i'm so excited now this is a book <laughs> this is the book i said okay we not voting on this book this is going to be the last pick i put my foot down i <laughs> I, I wielded my executive power because this is a book that I want to make sure does well. I want to make sure people are reading. I want to do my best to create hype for. And the book club isn't very big, but still, like I, whenever possible, I want to use NB Book Club to spotlight non-binary authors who are doing great things and just aren't getting the hype and recognition that they deserve. The book that we are going to be reading in the month of December is going to be Iron Widow. This is a science fiction fantasy book from a debut Asian author and I could not be more excited about it. I just couldn't be more excited about this. Just look at this gorgeous cover. And essentially this is a revenge plot we have going here. We have our main character signs up to be an ace pilot who are known of, for just being very deadly very ruthless and they end up getting involved in this organization that killed their brother in order to take revenge and the plot is more intense and more intricate than that it has a lot of mech and i just like absolutely love stories that are really heavy on mechanics i'm so freaking excited it's supposed to be very bloody and brutal and like it just so so good and so this is a book that i just really really cannot wait to read no idea yet who the guest host is going to be we're gonna see who the host is going to end up being but for now i'm just so freaking excited okay so those are going to be the three books that we are reading for nb book club for the remainder of the year and before closing out this video i just want to make a quick note because we have gotten some questions about this from people who who have said things like oh i didn't know sorrowland has a direct non-binary rap or like oh i didn't know you know, the Iron Widow has direct non-binary rep. The thing about Envy Book Club is that we read books by non-binary authors regardless. I don't care if there's zero non-binary characters in the book. If it's by a non-binary author, that story matters. The way that they write even cisgender characters is nuanced in a way that we need to be seeing. That is a getting non-binary perspectives on cis characters is absolutely crucial it's absolutely critical non-binary authors do not need to be limited to only tell stories about people like us who share our exact identities that is very limiting and that's not what we're going to be doing 
Now, I would absolutely love if like every single book for the book club centered a non-binary character. There are so many reasons why non-binary authors are coming out with these books that don't have specifically non-binary characters, and maybe I will make a video about that one day, but the point is, as long as the author is non-binary, that qualifies the book as being eligible for an MB Book Club selection. So if there are any other selections, books by non-binary authors with or without direct non-binary representation, please leave them in the, in the description box in the comment section down below if you'd like to see those books be made for picks in 2022. Make sure you are following the NB Book Club Instagram for lots of reels, updates, news, and just exclusive things that you are not going to get on YouTube as well as information about like when YouTube lives are going to go down and all of that fun stuff. If you want more content from me, I have a Patreon. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram, but all of my social media links will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe and I hope to see you in my next one.